How is it that on four separate occasions on one day that a trillion dollar military and intelligence infrastructure could fail? I don't think anybody could have predicted that these people would take an airplane and slam it into the World Trade Center, take another one and slam it into the Pentagon. Nobody in our government at least, and I don't think the prior government that could envision flying airplanes into buildings on such a massive scale. But that turns out not to be true. U.S. military planners did envision and practice those very scenarios. As reported by USA Today, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, conducted exercises with fighter jets, simulating hijacked planes flown into the World Trade Center in the two years before the attacks. Pentagon planners also envisioned the attack on the Pentagon five months before it happened. According to this April 2001 Pentagon email, Air Force officials wanted a war game having a terrorist group hijack a commercial airline and fly it into the Pentagon. The idea was to check response times to launch fighter jets. But according to the Pentagon email, the plan was ultimately rejected by senior Pentagon officials as too unrealistic. One drill, called Amalgam Virgo, was conducted on June 1st and 2nd, 2001, and simulated successful terrorist attacks. Its purpose was to focus on unconventional threats, including an airborne hijacking. One plan would simulate the hijacking of a commercial airliner, which would be crashed into the capital. The second part of the exercise, which was planned but not executed before 9-11, involved two planes with actual pilots on the flight deck. FBI agents would hijack the planes and divert them to secure locations. And on its cover? Osama bin Laden. In fact, multiple war games were underway on 9-11 itself. <laughs> 